Hey guys, I said I wasn't going to make a video today. There's one thing for your PC builders that I wanted to talk about. It's going to make it short and sweet. AMD announced their new bulldozer processors. A new series of 8 core CPUs. What you would imagine is this would be a lot faster CPUs than your old 6 cores or even faster than Intel's quad cores. But in all reality, if you look at the benchmarks, they're actually only as fast as Intel's old quad core CPUs like the Core i7, the new Core i7 is the 2600K series CPUs, and those Core i5 even is faster. And the funny thing is, the bulldozer is at still faster clock speed. And even multi-threaded apps, this is, isn't just single-threaded apps, maybe some games and stuff like that. Every single thing is constantly faster for Intel. I found that really interesting that they released a brand new processor and it's still not faster than Intel's. And Intel, like, its processor's what, two, three years old now, two years old now. And it's still faster than a brand new AMD CPU, so I'm kind of confused at that. Like, and why they haven't had much improvements. Maybe for super multi-threaded like video encoding it could be a little bit faster. But I think it's more so like price to performance ratio I suppose because these processors are only just over $200 versus Intel's are over 300 So you can build a much cheaper computer with AMD for its similar performance. If you're doing video editing and all that stuff uh, and graphic work, I would say go Intel as it's going to be faster probably always. And then if you just do want games, maybe occasional video editing, but mostly games, then just go AMD. It's cheaper. It's probably easier to overclock and such like that. But otherwise, I just, I'm really interested by that. I'm going to have a link to some review, um, not reviews, uh, benchmarks down below. Take a look at that, see what I was talking about. Also, uh, if you don't already know, today, the 12th, they released iCloud and iOS 5 and that stuff for you to upgrade on your iOS device from, I think, 3, 3GS, iPhone 4, you can get it now. iPhone 4S will be pre installed when that comes out. And your third generation and up iPod Touch will be able to get this starting today. Get all the fancy notifications and all the upgrades everything next to Surrey pretty much. So I wanted to say today I don't think I'm gonna be making a video Friday but anything's possible and if I don't see you then I'll be seeing you on Monday.